हेलो एवरीवन जे सी ई कनेक्ट आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई विल बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ टेंशन मेंबर्स सो इन दैट सिंगल एंगल कनेक्टेड टू द गसेट प्लेट सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम गिवन that is uh, determine the tensile strength of a roof truss diagonal isa 100 by 75 by 10 mm the longer leg is connected to a gusset plate with six numbers of 20 mm dia bolts in one row take edge distance 30 mm and pitch 50 mm and also uh, take a property class uh, 4.6 here property class 4.6 so uh, this is the figure we need to draw uh, here the angle section is mentioned and uh, we have to draw that six number of bolts in a single row so this is uh, this figure shows uh, the angle section connected to the gusset plate here the edge distance is mentioned here here also edge distance mentioned and these are the pitches 50 50 50 50 50 total uh, five pitches 1 2 3 4 five pitches two edge distances and this is the section this is section this represents section this is the section and this exx and cxs you will get from the steel table this also you have to note it down exx and cxx for 100 by 75 by 10 mm so just uh, i'll show you this one exx and cxx so for unequal angle you have to uh, check that exx and cxx unequal angle 100 by so here you will get to refer the steel table so in steel table 100 by 75 by uh, 10 mm here this one 100 by 75 by 10 mm you have to refer and from the steel table you have to get the area also this area 16.5 then also you have to mark so i think you can see this figure so this particular figure here along y axis from x axis the distance of centroid of the bolt here they mentioned cxx cxx so this is exx this is exx and this is cxx so here given 100 by 75 by 10 mm so here Uh, C X X given as thirty one point nine and E X X sixty eight point one thirty one point nine and sixty eight point one here it is given but in this particular problem so these two are given. Exx and Cxx. If not given, if not given, these values are not given. Then you have to refer steel table. I'll write here a note. If Exx and Cxx are not given. refer steel table this exx and cxx represent the centroid of the bolt centroid of the bolt in some problems these two values are been given you take that value only if not given refer steel table okay so in this steel table they clearly mentioned here so i'll 
show this one this one here they are given at the corner of the steel table the uh, the figure is given here they have mentioned exx and cxx exx exx is from the heel to the uh, center of the bolt and cxx from the toe to the center that is along y axis means measuring from x axis that is exx and cxx if you are measuring from y axis this is cyy and eyy cyy and eyy here it is cyy and eyy given here okay so re refer steel table and note down the uh, values so after this one so as we know that the design here they asked you to calculate determine the tensile st strength of the roof truss member tensile strength we need to calculate so the design that is the tensile strength of a roof truss that is the tensile strength of the roof truss is the least of is the least of first one strength due to gross section yielding strength due to gross section yielding second strength due to net section rupture net section rupture the third is block shear strength So these three we need to calculate that is TDZ, TDN, and TDB. So the least of these three values uh, is to be considered as a tensile strength of the roof truss member. So let us calculate the first one that is uh, strength due to. strength due to gross section yielding that is tdz so we know the formula for this tdz if you are not remembered the formula refer is code is 800 uh, for this one refer IS 800 2007 page 32 clause 6.2 so where we you get the formula TDZ is equal to AZ FY divided by comma MO where AZ you have to get from the steel table that is a cross area of the angle section 100 by 100 by sorry 100 by 75 by 10 we refer the steel table so here 100 by 75 by 10 the gross area is given 16.5 that is 16 mm square so you have to refer this is from steel table from steel table okay you refer steel table and get the area then substitute the values tdz equal to 1650 into 250 divided by 1.1 so you will get the answer tdz is 375 
kilo newton this is first value this is gross section yielding similarly calculate the next one the second one the net section strength due to net section rupture that is tdn we know the formula tdn equal to 0.9 an 0.9 an that is an anc fu divided by gamma ml plus beta ago fy divided by gamma mo okay so for this you would refer uh, is code so page number 33 clause 6.3.3 that is given the rupture strength of an angle connected through one leg is affected by shear leg the design strength tdn as governed by rupture at net section is given by this formula here it is given okay this one and this should be less than or equal to this should be less than or equal to if you for that is 0.9 point 0.9 if you gamma mo divided by fy gamma ml and also it should be greater than equal to 0.7 Actually, this point nine is not there in the code book, and there is a correction you have to make. So, uh, yes, uh, Indian standard has a, that is a suggested some corrections in the IS 800-2007. So, this point nine to be taken. Okay, so it is been revised. Uh, so you have to take the point nine here. So next, after this, uh, this is uh, I would refer refer page thirty three for this one. Now you have to calculate A N C that is uh, uh, A N C area of connected leg, net area of connected leg. So here. This one, <coughs> this one here, to calculate the area of connected leg. Here the leg is connected, 100 mm leg is connected to the gusset plate. This area you need to calculate connected leg net area. So at this particular section, if you take the section here, if I take a section here, how many bolts are here? One bolt is lying. This is the critical section. Which is nearer to the load applied here. So this will be the critical. You have to calculate the net area here. Okay. So the net area will be ANC will be hundred minus the diameter of bolt is given as twenty. So twenty two. Minus thickness of into thickness, you will get seven thirty new millimeter square. Then the gross area A Z O that will be seven gross area minus uh, outstanding leg minus ten by two into ten. You get seven hundred millimeters square. 
now one more is beta that is a correction factor that is 1.4 minus 0 0.076 w by t fy by fu then bs by lc this is the formula this should be less than or equal to this this one this should be less than or equal to if i substitute the values of fu gamma mo fy gamma ml you will be getting that one uh, 1.144 into 0.9 will be getting 1.296 which is greater than 0.7 okay then from the figure here in is 800 it is given here this stuff observe here here the given an is the net area of the total cross section sorry not this one yes yeah, sorry anc net area of the connected leg agu gross area of the outstanding leg t thickness and also <coughs> here they mentioned bs bs is she shear lag width here given this formula is given here this formula beta then here the outstand leg width is w shear lag width is bs okay. so here it is given PS is W plus WI, W outstand lag width plus WI minus T. That is a shear lag width for a bolted connection. If, the, if it is a welded connection, so PS will be directly W. Okay. So here, just calculate uh, uh, WW is outstand lag width, W is equal to 75 mm outstand leg width t is the 10 mm thickness fy is 250 newton per millimeter square then fu will, will be 410 newton per millimeter square then bs is shear leg width that is w plus wi minus t you will get that one w is 75 plus wi wi this is wi this becomes a wi this one from here to here that is 30 is a wi wi in our case okay. wi that is 30 minus 10 you will get 105 95 will get then lc lc is length length of the end connected measured here it is given lc in a code book I'll read it length of the end connection that is distance between the outermost bolts in the end joint measured along the load direction or length of the weld along the load direction I'll repeat length of the end connection that is the distance between the outermost bolts in the end joint measured along the load direction means so if you take a lc from here we'll mark it length of the end connection from first bolt center line to last bolt center line this is the lc this is lc from the first bolt hole center to last bolt hole center that is lc that is length of the end connection measured from the center of the first bolt hole to the center of the last bolt hole in the end connection measured along the direction of load this is lc now the lc becomes how much now 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 
टोटल फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी दट इज एल सी होप यू दिस वन एल सी सो हियर राइट एल सी वैल्यू फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी दट इज टू फिफ्टी एम एम फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी एम एम सो नाउ कैलकुलेट देर फोर बीटा सब्सटिट्यूट दीज ऑल वैल्यूज इन द अब इक्वेशन यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा सो दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स यू विल गेट विच इज लेस दैन आर इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू नाइन सिक्स एंड ग्रेटर दैन एट पॉइंट सेवन सो दिस इज अ बीटा वैल्यू यू विल गेट वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स यू विल गेट substitute this all in this equation beta equation you get a beta then calculate tdn okay when you substitute these all values in this equation tdn equation here you substitute all so you will be getting tdn substitute all then you will get tdn 415.415.415 You please check the answer. So all is substitute in the above equation and get it. Okay. So here you can take a gamma ml one point two five and gamma mo as one point one. So substitute all the values in the above equation. You will get this answer. So you will get. This answer four hundred and fifteen point nine five. This is TDM, and the third one is block shear strength. Block shear strength that is TDB. But to refer page thirty three of IS eight hundred. 2007 can take a clause 6.4.1 so here given uh, here page number 33 bolted connections the block shear strength tdb of a connection shall be taken as the smaller of tdb1 and tdb2 two equations are given tdb1 or tdb2 whichever is smaller that is to be considered as a block shear strength so let us calculate both the values tdb1 that is tdb1 is equal to avz fy divided by root gamma mo into root 3 plus Point nine ATN FU divided by gamma ML. This is one equation. Then TDB two TDB two point nine AVN FU divided by root three gamma ML plus ATZ FY. Divided by gamma mo. So these are the two equation. So these two equation we have to calculate. Then get TDB one and TDB two. Okay. So to get TDB one and TDB two, we need to calculate AVZ. AVZ. AVZ is nothing but LV into that is the gross shear area. Then AVN. Net shear area. So let us calculate first LVZ. So LVZ will be what? <coughs> Gross shear area. So here, this figure, the shear will take place along this plane, along this one. How it fails? I draw here the failure pattern. Just 
observe it mm. this one fails one two three four five six six bolt half this one so it fails like this this okay. then this will be the shear area from the edge till lv this lv okay. this is and lt this is lt you have to get lt that is uh, from the center of the bolt to last that is 70 distance this one lv and this this represents l lt length of tension plane this will be the tension plane in this figure this particular figure so when you pull it so it, this particular mark here this particular this particular uh, section will be under tension okay this one this one so this is lt length of tension plane and along the load if you take this one along the load this is shear plane and perpendicular to the load this one is complete this one tension plane is complete tension plane so the length of tension plane is 70 always you have to take from the toe of the angle to the center of bolt hole from the toe this will be the toe to the center toe to the center will be always under tension toe to the center of bolt hole. I hope you understood this one then calculate this LV LV will be uh, here what it is this one here. to center this is 30 then this will be 5 into 50 250 mm then LV become 250 280 LV length is 280 280 into thickness you will get 208 2800 mm square then AVN is direct bolt holes that is uh, 280 minus how many bolt holes this is one complete two three four five five and half five point five into twenty two into ten you will get 1590 mm square this much you will get answer 1590 mm square then ATZ ATZ as I told that is a tensile area this one that is LT length of tensile into thickness 70 into 10 700 mm square then ATN net area this is half 
half of the bolt has cut only half is um, half bolt hole is left here means 70 minus half of 22 into 10 that is 590 mm square so then substitute all the values in the above equation you will be getting tdb1 you will get 541.57 kilo newton this is 1 and tdb2 when you substitute the values the above equation you will get tdb2 for 30.07 kN therefore the tdb value will be least of least of tdb1 and tdb therefore tdp will be that is the block shear strength will be 430.07 kilo newton this is the tdp value so then the tensile strength of root truss member root truss member will be the least of tdz tdn and tdb now you have to check which is the least value so we are having a three values with us so the tdz how much is the tdz tdz is 375 kN tdn we are also having with us tdn is 415.95 kN and tdb is 430.07 kN out of these three whichever is the least that is tensile strength of plate that is 375 kN so this is the tensile strength of the Trust member. I hope you understood this one. This is a very simple problem. So try to understand this one. So this is the problem. It was given. So in this problem, they have asked you to calculate the what is the tensile strength of the member. That is a T. So the finally the value of T will be four. It is a three seventy five given. Three seventy. 5 kilonewton this one